Halloween Night by Marjorie Dennis Murray. Pictures by Brandon Dorman. Twas Halloween night, and all through the house, every creature was stirring, including the mouse. The walls were aflutter with little brown bats, while hordes of black spiders crept out of the cracks. By the fire in the kitchen, the witch stirred her brew. To make it more smelly, she threw in a shoe. Stiff-legged zombies awoke from the dead as moth-eaten mummies arose from their beds. The pumpkins all grinned with ghoulish delight as little green creepies made treats for the night. And to each party bag, they dropped four crunchy legs, a handful of grubs, and eight rotten eggs. The ghost in a parlor played softly off-key as a bevy of banshees served moldy green tea. Ogre and Olaf set up the buffet with freshly picked bugs and the soup of the day. When up on the gable, the ravens appeared, ready to cry when the tricksters drew near. Then just as the moon shed light on the path, the witch and her ravens heard somebody laugh. And like tiny moths drawn into the flame, the tricksters appeared at the end of the lane. A witch, a toad, a ghost, and a bat. A vampire, a mummy, a yellowed-eyed cat. A fairy, a ghoul, and a little plump rat. Cried the witch, they're coming this way. Take the pot off the fire and veil the buffet. Then laughing and giggling, the children all came, their feet treading lightly over the lane. All silly and giddy and looking for sweets, all shouting together, Trick or treat! Come in, said the witch. Please be our guest. Come to our party, we've put out our best. Into her parlor, the children all peeped, so eager to see the Halloween treats. But what they saw on that shadowy night made each little trickster shiver with fright. Mummies and harpies and creepy green things, fishtails and stink bugs and dragonfly wings, newts and toads and lizards and mice, flies in the soup and crickets on ice, a ghost in the parlor and bats in the den, the witch's pet monster outside of its pen, and ogre and Olaf and all of their friends. From the ten little tricksters came ten little shrieks, and away they all ran down the cobblestone street, dropping their bags and spilling their treats. So Ogre and Olaf and all of the rest enjoyed Halloween night without any guests. They each took home some leftover legs, some grubs and bugs and lizards and eggs, and all agreed on that night as they left that. This was the very best Halloween yet. Thank you everyone for listening. I hope you all enjoy your week.